Hello guys, it's Imploding Camel here and welcome to another series. This is gonna be on one of my favourite games, as if you know all my other videos, you've probably guessed, Pokey MMO. I mean, just, it's so great, it's Pokemon, online, multiplayer, ah, uh, it's just so good. This series is one I've been wanting to do for a really long time, and I am super excited for it. This is basically, it's, it's gonna start out as a team building series where... I make my own competitive battle team with you guys. I'll like hatch the Pokemon from scratch. I'll probably buy some Pokemon and then um, breed them to make to set them to my own specific standards. But the premise of this is we are going to make our own team, and it is going to be great. And then after we make our team, we're gonna do some competitive battling. So you might be wondering, what am I doing in Fusha City? I am going to catch. Well, sorry, we are gonna go catch. Our first Pokemon that we will need, but we'll probably catch many. You'll see in a second why. Because let's go to our spot where we catch our first Pokemon. I will meet you there. This is one spot of many which we will be using to try and catch the perfect Pokemon. And if you know anything about this game, you will know this is where we catch a Ditto. Hopefully. Please be a Ditto. Nope, that is an oddish. But luckily for me, I brought my trusty Pokemon Swipes. Swipe, I recommend if you're trying to catch Dittos. Bring a uh, Meowth or something that knows Payday, and so every Pokemon that's not a Ditto that you kill, you actually get some something useful out of it. So I killed that Oddish, and I got, if you use Payday, you get coins for defeating them. So we just got ourselves a free £260. So, just to go over what's going to happen in this series. We are going to cover EV trading, how to do it, what it is, how it benefits you, and just how important it is, because it is really important. We're going to go over natures for Pokemon, so I'm going to tell you what natures I'm going to get for my Pokemon, and how useful they are as well, and stuff like that. Then, we're going to talk about breeding. In Pokemon Mo, breeding is not like any other Pokemon game. It's very tricky. Yeah, it's a tricky breeding thing, but once you get the hang of it, it gets quite easy. If that makes any sense, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I tried. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to the breeding, but first we need to catch ourselves a Ditto, and this is apparently one of the places you can get them. I never really come here, but, well, I do a bit, but this isn't my main place, because you get a lot of, like, these and, like, Oddishes and bell sprouts and stuff. So, it's a good job I brought Payday, so I'll actually get something out of this, but we will see once we have found a Ditto. Is this the Ditto we've been at? Damn it! I thought it was a Ditto. It was all purple and everything, but no, stupid Venom that. But, okay, I'll see you later. Guys, I'm starting to lose hope here. It has been four Venonats in a row. This is crazy. All I'm getting is Venonat after Venonat after Venonat. Oh, wait, yeah, they are called Venonats. I doubted myself then for a second. This is crazy. So hopefully, with you guys here, you can be my little good luck charm and hopefully we'll get a ditto this time. If not, I'm probably going to cry, but I'm not too sure. Soon we're going to have to heal up. Well, not soon, but in a bit we're going to have to heal up. That's the thing I should have checked. I'm not too sure how many Pokeballs I've got. What has it got to be? It is a bell sprout. Oh no, it seems our lovely bell sprout just died. Now isn't that unfortunate? So guys, this I'm just putting this in because this is a very important tip for everyone who wants to catch Pokemon. Make sure you got Pokeballs, because I'm not too sure, so I'm gonna check now. Do I yes I do, kind of. I have a few. I have a few. That's alright, that's alright. We can live with that. I'll probably be be good enough to get a couple of dittos, hopefully. We're gonna need quite a few, because we're after a ditto is obviously not going to be used in my competitive team. Sorry about that, I just had to cough. Ditto is not going to be used in, our, in my competitive team, but we're using it to breed. And if you know about breeding, this is probably going to annoy you because people hate being told things they already know. But each Pokemon has got its predetermined IVs. You can't change these, they're already predetermined. The higher level you go, the more... Like, it, narrow, it will narrow it down. Like, that says... 25 to 26, so that's either 25 or 26, and every, but the higher level the Pokemon is, the more it'll be narrowed down, so eventually that'll just, like, either say, okay, it's IV's 25 or it's IV's 26, but the IV's are determined, like, the gender is as soon as it's, like, formed, basically, so you cannot change the IV's, but you can change the EV's, which is something we will get into a different time, so yeah, a the better the IVs, the stronger it is, basically. So we're looking for a Ditto with good IVs in most things. And here we go! Talking of the devil. Now, though. Now. Hmm. I didn't think this bit through. Um, Payday does 40 damage. 50 dam- Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know what we can do to 
not kill this thing. I'm not too sure if this will kill it or not. Please don't kill it. Oh, it's... Yay! Well, there goes our first hit up, guys. We may have just murdered it. God damn it. Aha! Man, I was stupid. Why didn't I bring a lower level Pokemon? Swipes? How dare you? Bad swipes, bad swipes. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go get a low level Pokemon, probably heal up, probably get some great balls, ultra balls, whatever I want, and I will meet you back here in a second. I just realized, what's the point of walking over there when I can just fly? Oh, can I? Yep, that's how lazy I am. I just fly everywhere. Because I love you guys so much, I'm gonna move all my random Pokemon from this slot. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. From my box one to my box two. So all the progress, there's Splashy, my level 20, 62, Magic Up. So all the progress we make, I got the Pokemon we catch, will all come to the same place. So we can see what we've got without getting it confused with like my other dittos, which I don't want to use because I want to get as many of these Pokemon from scratch as I can. But we're going to have to buy a couple to get egg moves. So, you know, eh, still. Okay, so I'm going to do this, which is probably going to take a really long time because it's just... Uh, it's just clicking after clicking. I'm not even sure if you can see my mouse or not, but yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys in a minute. In a minute? In a minute? I have never realized how expensive Ultra Balls are. Sweet Jesus, 1,200 for one. Give me ten. In fact, give me eight, because I've already got two. Man, they're expensive. Um, I'm going to buy ten Pokeballs for the hell of it, and I want a premium ball. If that's even a thing in this, I'm not too sure. I don't think it is, actually. And great balls. How many of these do we want? These will be our main catching things, so we're gonna buy 20. And man, that costs a lot of money. We are only on 9,000. You only start to realize how pricey things in Pokemon are when you start to play Pokemon Anyway, um, I swapped out uh, swipes for Thor. Thor is a prime example of what we are trying to do. Thor is my own bred and evolved and trained Pokemon. These are his moves, he is a very beautiful specimen, and um, special attack is decent, speed is decent, but this is what this is what we have to do with all our things. You see, I've got no IVs in everything apart from special attack and speed. Well, I've got six in defense, but I'll get to that later. Um, for every four, for if I say I kill a Magikarp, Magikarp will, Magikarps, every single Magikarp in the game, gives one speed EV. Magic Ops give speed EVs, that's just how they're programmed. So, if I kill 252 Magic Ops, I'll get 252 speed EVs. And every four EV, you get one extra, like, level in this. So that goes up by one for every four EVs you get. So, what you do is, I want Thor to be fast and do a lot of damage. So I put 252, which is the maximum amount of EVs you can put in each um, each like category I put 252 on his speed so he's as fast as possible and then I put 252 in his special attack so he's as strong as possible because he's an electric type so he obviously electric types in this generation are special attacks and the six EVs in defense are just because you can only have 252 in each one and then you're allowed a maximum of so, I had to cough again. I'm not even sure if you can notice or not, but you're allowed a maximum of 510, I think that all adds up to. Yeah, 510 EVs. You yeah, can't go past that, it just doesn't happen. So, yeah, so you just kill specific Pokemon to get 252 in what, whatever stat you want. So, Thor is a prime example of what we are going to be doing with our team. And just to clarify now, I'm not going to go for like the best team possible and the strongest possible. I'm just going to do the Pokemon that I enjoy and the ones that I want to make. So, unfortunately, there aren't going to be massively overpowered Pokemon if I don't enjoy them. Like Tyranitar. Yeah, he's a cool looking Pokemon, but wow, he's so overused, in my opinion, anyway. Not saying that he's a bad Pokemon. If you all love Tyranitar, that's your choice. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go look for Ditto, because this episode's actually getting quite long. We're going to at least capture one Ditto this episode, so I'll see you once I have one. I swear all I get is just Venom after Venom, because they're purple, I always think they're dittos, so I start the recording, but yeah, not a ditto, hopefully you'll be my good luck charm this time again, maybe, come on, you are not, I trusted you.
Hey, here he is. Here's a little cute little blue blob. Blue? Man, I'm called by nuts. Purple. Oh, now, um, will a thunderbolt kill him? In fact, what I'll do, I'll paralyze him. Um. Ah. Huh. Man, this is gonna be harder than I thought. I'm not sure if they take you. Uh... Okay, good, good. There we go. No! Oof! Oh, I almost cried. I thought I was gonna kill him. Jesus Christ. Right, okay. We are now going to attempt to catch him, and because it is our first one, we've got to use an ultra ball. And we didn't even catch him. And he's gonna be healed, is he? Yep, because of wish. Um, how, what can... Please don't kill him. Please, whatever you do. You've gotta be... Wow. Guys, you have... Oh, my heart just... Oh. Man, that was lucky. Please catch. Man, Ditto's are really hard to catch, it seems. Oh, now you use wish, so... That's a pain. Okay, okay. We will get him this this time. This time. Come on. Yes! Okay. We got the Ditto. Uh, yeah, it's weird. And Poke MMO doesn't show the Pokeball animation unless you actually catch it. So if you see the animation, you know you got it. Plus, it comes up in your little sidebar straight away. Ooh, that was a lot to say. Okay, so, we caught our first Ditto. And we will now see if he is any good. Okay, first, we will... Okay, okay, here we go. Um... Okay, it's not bad, but HP is bad, speed is bad, special defense is bad, but attack defense and special attack are okay. So this is, this is usable. What's his nature? Impish? Okay, so this is possibly usable, so just because he is our first one, we will call him. Oh, there we go, number one. Okay, so there we go. That is our first ditto. And he may or may not be our breeder. I don't know it. I will see you next episode, guys. If you got any, like, got any input you want to put in for this series, I'll be glad to hear it. And if you want to see any changes or anything, yeah, that'll be good. If you got any ideas, tell me. Uh, like if you like it. Subscribe if you like it a lot. And thanks for watching. I will see you next episode. Goodbye.